Hello, how are you? This is Colibri Visu today. I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna show you how to paint with nail polish. We all have tons of nail polish at home that we don't know what to do with them, especially when they are almost gone. I have tons, as you can see, and I don't like to throw anything away. I like to, of course, paint my nails, but I like to do some arts and crafts with my nail polishes. As you can see here, as an example, I have a very cute plant. This was a candle. So the most important thing that you will need is nail polish, some empty mac or a candle or some surface that you want to paint on, and pretty much it. Another thing that I like to do and I suggest you to do is to just have previously, before, before painting, before starting, some examples of the strokes you wanna do. I like to do very simple stuff like just dots and flowers and strokes, very simple, and normally I like to put the color combination that I would like to start with. Even though, at the end, I end up doing things like this, which is a very cute mug from, this is from a Starbucks, but you can get those anywhere in the dollar store, in uh, any, any store where you can find white mugs. So I like to do very um, freehand style, and then normally this is just my pattern to follow, but I end up improvising, which I suggest you to do, it's a lot of fun. So now what we are gonna do is I take this mug and I'm gonna just look what colors are nice for today. I feel like something silver, like this silver, and I'm gonna start just doing my design. I'm just trying to make the eyelashes. So now I think I want to make the eyes this nice blue color, very intense. It's like blue royal. Again, we put a very little quantity. We are adding some blue. And it's looking cute. As you can see, the, um, the strokes are very easy. It's just dots and lines. So now I would like to do the lower eyelashes and that's what we are gonna do here. Just a simple line. This is very cool by the way, this kind of nail polish with a very, very thin brush to do this more detailed strokes. So now while this is drying out, it's very cute. It's getting very cute. Just the eyes are very cute with very simple strokes. I'm gonna make the lips and the cheeks. For the cheeks, I really like this solution of the cute hearts. Everybody loves the cute hearts for the, for the rose cheeks. And the lips are also very easy. So I think I'm gonna start with the lips, with a cute red. Well, we are done with the lips and look so cute. Just like three, three strokes and two layers because there was a little bit light. Again, I'm improvising the colors. Maybe you want to have the colors chosen first to see, you know, remember sometimes this color is very light. You need like three layers when you do your nails. So the same with this surf surface. So probably after I'm, after I'm done, I will add some sparkling touch because it looks very cute. So for the chicks, I'm gonna be using this super cute um, berry treasures color, whatever color is it. And let's see what's gonna happen. I never know the results. So now we have the mag almost almost finished, but it's not, it has something that, if you compare to this super cute face, this one has something that mm, doesn't look that friendly. We are gonna add, I think, some sort of pattern, like this one here, for the eyes. So I think I'm gonna select this, this looks like a sparkling green emerald, dark green emerald, and I think it's gonna be nice. 
again, this is the, the fun part of it, is just to, to decide in prof what you are gonna paint. This is I'm applying a very nice green emerald touch. And I think I want to add some other color, like this dark purple. I'm doing some nice eyelashes here to open the eyes with the, this purple that I found. If you find that it's too dark, then we can just go back and change it or color on top of it with another color. Again, remember this is all improv. So this is the, the face. I kind of finalize the um, eyelashes. I'm kind of, I'm not totally sure that I really like this. So I think I'm, I'm gonna add my magic touch, which is the sparkling orange and yellows that somebody gave to me or they were 50% discounts from somewhere and I didn't want to use them. I think it's gonna be perfect for adding a magic touch. So I'm gonna add some sparkling yellow to the eyes. Looks kind of weird, but believe it or not, gives some, some interesting, <laughs> some interesting face to it. And then some yellow here, or it's orange, I really don't know what color is this. And also, if you add some to the lips, it's gonna give more dimension to them. I think so. Well, there is always like some technical problems, so you just remove the extra. No problem. Here is always so easy. Also, if you don't like the result, you can just erase everything with the nail polish removers. So we are almost done, but I think it's missing something in the eyes. I don't know what, and I'm gonna try to find a nice color to, you know, end, the, end this with a nice touch, with a very colorful, happy face. So guess what? I found this very cool yellow in my Pandora box. This yellow I will never use in my nails, never. But since it's very transparentish, I'm gonna use for the eyelids to kind of cover the eyelids with a nice patina of transparentish yellow. Let's see what's gonna be the end result. So as you can see, we are done. Isn't it fantastic? I think finally the face is not that unfriendly as I thought it was gonna turn out to be. Remember, very easy products. You just need nail polish from your mom, your uncle, your cousin, your sister-in-law, whoever who doesn't want anymore, give it to you and you can create these super cool uh, gifts. And remember that everything is done in 10 minutes, so it's a very easy project to do in a rainy day, sunny day, any day. And I hope to see you. My name is Colibri Bizu, and I see you in the next project. Bye.